The Anaya is one of many families surprised by the severe weather that struck with ferocious power. Neg Magdaleno captured what looked like a hurricane in his Paris front yard. Nicole shot this video from her driveway in Horse Thief Canyon Ranch in Corona. It was clearly trash day. All the bins knocked down by the extreme winds, making a big cleanup in this neighborhood. Maggie Patterson Torborg watched the wind whipping down her street. A big branch, a big branch just broke off our street. But that broken branch didn't prepare her for what was about to happen next. Doug Price captures the lightning and the sound of rolling thunder from his Temecula backyard. Debbie Duncan in Corona called it like this. Electricity went out again. Oh, there goes my water bottle. Someone's going to have to clean up my trash. The yard is flooding. Viewer Mike Nunez was driving on Interstate 15 near Lake Elsinore when the freeway suddenly turned into a river of muddy water, making for a very dangerous drive. And while not everyone got rain in their neighborhoods, many were eyewitness to an incredible light show as the churning storms generated lots of dangerous lightning.
We have excessive heat warnings up and down the coast. We are talking temperatures getting well past the 100 degree mark, and we could be looking at all time hottest temperatures ever recorded out through the Pacific Northwest. So this is a historic heat wave. Health warnings are being issued across Europe as temperatures reach potentially dangerous levels in many places. Yes, just to refresh. The strongest heat wave of the summer is predicted in the coming week, with more than 40 degrees expected in some regions. The risk of fires breaking out is also a major headache for emergency services, already stretched to the limit in places. Authorities are urging particular care of the elderly, small children and people in a weak condition. <laughs> Drinking lots of fluids is crucial, as well as staying out of the sun, wearing light clothes and finding ways to stay cool. At home, windows and shutters should be closed during the day and regular checks made on those unable to look after themselves.